how y'all doing today so um a friend of mine asked me how to do um a segue that doesn't have um the push effect that you normally see so <clears throat> let's get a button on screen here and i already changed the two views to two different colors so if you don't know how to do a segue which is how you see one view to another um you just option click and drag and so this is what he's doing he's doing the show event so let's see what that this looks like let's just launch that in our iphone 6 simulator okay it's down here so what that does is it brings up a view from the bottom and he doesn't want that what he wants is he wants the actual segue to just appear without any animation so as you can see here uh, so show is one of the styles um, so if you want so he was going through a lot of code all this type of stuff to try to get it so it doesn't do um, animation so what I'm gonna show you really is an easier way to do that with the default uh, segues. So instead of using show, you should use present modally. And see where it says animate here? Just unclick that. And now the view will just appear. Let's try that out. Click it and it just appears. So really that's how simple it is to get it to and we have to click here to get it so the transition just appears. Instead of writing special code, just select the present modally. Come down here and unclick the animation. And if you want it to animate, you can. And you do have uh, some transitions here like cross dissolve and whatnot. But if you just want no animation, boom, and it just shows up. That's simply all you have to do. You don't have to write any special code uh, because you can make custom segues, but you don't need to make a custom segue to have a view change and just appear. Um, simply choose segue, present modally, and just remove, keep everything default and just remove the animates. And it works perfectly. Okay, uh, hopefully that's a good tip that. Uh, some of you may have not known and uh, you know my friend was looking all over he was at um, oh you know all those places you can go and uh, ask people for help and apparently no one that helped him actually gave him this as an option and you don't have to write any code it's really simple so this is a uh, xcode tip for iOS um, this is for Xcode 6.0 or later. I'm at 6.1 using uh, SDK 8.1. It may change in a future version, but this is how it works right now. Okay, thanks a lot for joining me, and I'll see you later.